The Las Vegas Raiders have possibly the most interesting and ultimate wide receiver comp uh, competition in the entire NFL. Listen, I know what everybody's going to say. Hunter Renfro, Devonta Adams, yeah, you got your number one and number one A. One A and one A, one, one A and one B, what, however you want to power rank it. The point is, the rest of it is kind of up for debate. It's definitely uh, been a very interesting offseason, uh, you know, for uh, the Raiders and their wide receiver competition. I really can't even, uh, I can only use my insufficient vocabulary to tell you how encapsulating it's been. Honestly, uh, you know, I don't think we, I, we, I don't think we've seen Derek Carr at all this preseason. We haven't seen uh, a lot of these players that I would really like to see, but it is what it is at this point. I'd really like to see how the rest of this uh, Raiders offense is going to mesh. However, however, I think a bigger thing to take away here is who is going to be that guy on the inside, whether it's Hunter Renfro on one side and Devontae Adams, or if they're both on the same side, but who is going to be that guy that stepped up, steps up as that number three? I have my doubts. I, I, I certainly think that there's players that deserve a shot, and I think there's players that probably have already earned the job, but we'll get into it. So as you can see, the depth chart here updated um, uh, the one as of, uh, what's today, August 19th? Yeah. So obviously, again, Adams and Renfro, fine. But you know, right now, I would pencil in Keelan Cole as that number three. Uh, right now. That's just right now. And also, you guys will see a couple of guys like Zamir White rising up the power rankings. That's right. That's right. Zamir White's a stud. Uh, we called it from the very beginning, but you know, everybody was, was questioning his uh his injury history which i get too at the same time so uh yeah matt collins and also tyron johnson uh but i i will i i will not count out dj turner i put out a video you know i and i will stand on the hill for dj turner saying about the fact this man is coming for that number three wide receiver position because the way i see it is this we all you already have two guys that can stretch the field that have that are probably the best of route runners in the NFL. You need that speedster. You need that guy that's going to come in there and do some different things. I believe they had also let go of what was it Demarcus Robinson earlier in the week. But the point is, you need that guy that's going to stretch the field. Again, I'll go back to that play where DJ Turner scored that what was it that 34 yard touchdown against the Vikings. You had you had a seam route and then you had a shallow cross that turned into a big play because DJ Turner is that dude. So you know there is so many different things. Uh, going on. This is really the ultimate wide receiver competition because you've got all guys, honestly, uh, whether it's Keelan Cole, Tyron Johnson, Matt Collins, Justin Hall, or excuse me, uh, you know, he's also been pretty good as well, but DJ Turner, um, you know, I, I feel like, you know, those four guys are really vying for, you know, the, that number three spot. Um, you know, obviously, again, Keelan Cole's probably going to win it, um, you know, but again, you're probably going to go six deep, maybe a wide receiver. I would, I, I think at this point, this is the way I look at it. It is you cannot expect DJ Turner to make it past cuts. There's no way. There's no way DJ Turner makes it past cuts. You know, Tyron Johnson and Matt Collins, I got a lot of love and respect for them, but we know what they are. We don't know what DJ Turner is. I think he could be that next number three guy that could be a stud for the Raiders. I think you keep DJ Turner, especially with what you saw in this last preseason game. Listen, again, I do know that, again, I like Matt Collins. I like Keelan Cole. I like Tyron Johnson. I'll say it again. But at the end of the day, you know what you have in them. They're both, all three of those guys are very good wide receivers. They're probably with Derek Carr and this offensive line. If it ever gets figured out, uh, yeah, I, I think this is going to be something that you keep an eye on. But overall, this is something that uh, I, I think you cannot leave to chance. Do not lead you, let G. Let's try that again. Do not let DJ Turner get out of the building. That's the way I see it. Because again, you know, you got a guy that's speedy. He runs good routes. He's got good hands. He's probably going to win the punt return uh, job here for the Raiders as well. I don't think you can let him walk because at the end of the day, um, you know, you've got too much talent uh, on this uh, and one particular young man that I think you cannot let just walk out the building. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. Greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get you guys are all truthful awesome we love every single one of you down in the description below say hi to frank too the football back there it's frankly if you know your football uh your football companies your football brands anyway but let us know what you guys think uh, about the las vegas raiders having the ultimate wide receiver competition